Hello, I'm Ty Mason of the DiabetesCouncil.com researcher, writer, and I have type 2 diabetes. Now, I want to emphasize that my personal perspective is coming from one with type 2 diabetes and not type 1. Our channel is primarily for those with type 2 diabetes and pre-diabetes. Today, I want to talk about wine and diabetes. After you watch the video today, I invite you to check out the description box for my new ebook. This is one of the most comprehensive diabetes meal planning books you'll find anywhere. It contains diabetes friendly meals and recipes, recipes for different goals such as 800 to 1800 calories per day meal plans, diabetes meal planning tips and tricks. There are also tons of diabetes friendly recipes for everyone. Now many of you have heard that if you have diabetes, you cannot have alcohol. Well, that's simply not true. As a matter of fact, the ADA says the alcohol in moderation is fine. Their recommendation is no more than one drink per day for women and two drinks for men. Now this has been a bone of contention, however, for many. However, new studies show that a particular drink is actually showing benefits for those with diabetes. What could that drink be? Red wine. Now we know alcohol actually reduces blood sugar, but it can lower it to dangerously low levels. That is not why drinking red wine is being seen as good for those with diabetes. And I will caution you that if you do drink any type of alcohol, do so with food and monitor your blood sugar closely. Too many times hypoglycemia is misinterpreted as intoxication and has resulted in some very sad situations. That being said, a recent study revealed that moderate red wine consumption, and that was defined as one glass per day in this study, can reduce the risk of heart disease in people with type 2 diabetes. Now in the study, more than 200 participants were monitored for two years. One group had a glass of red wine each night with dinner. One had white wine, and the other had mineral water. All followed a healthy diet without any calorie restrictions. After two years, the red wine group had higher levels of high-density lipoprotein, or HDL, which is good cholesterol, than they did before, and lower cholesterol levels overall. They also saw benefits in glycemic control. Now the researchers concluded that drinking moderate amounts of red wine in conjunction with a healthy diet can modestly decrease heart disease risks. Now red wine is loaded with antioxidants and is credited with numerous potential health benefits when you drink it in moderate amounts. People with diabetes who choose to take advantage of these potential benefits should remember that moderation is the key and timing of alcohol intake with food intake needs to be considered, especially for those on diabetes medication. Now, I did find it interesting to note that red wine and white wine were both studied. However, red wine had a much more significant effect. However, not all red wines are the same. What you are looking for if you choose to drink red wine in hopes of reaping benefits as one with diabetes is a dry red wine. A recent survey revealed these red wines as giving maximum benefits. A Pinot Noir, a medium to light bodied wine that is becoming very popular. Cabernet Sauvignon, one of the most popular and best selling wines in the U.S. with a full bodied taste. A Merlot, a softer, fruitier wine than the Cabernet Sauvignon. A Malbec, a dark fruit wine commonly referred to as the black wine, and Zinfandel. This wine can have many different flavors from hearty and full to delicately light. So there you have it. Now please understand, I am not advocating that you go out and buy a case of Merlot. This is a personal decision, but I do advise that you talk with your health care provider before you take any action. Alcohol can have an effect on medications and other aspects of your diabetes and your life. This is a decision that you must discuss with others. Don't forget to get my new ebook and please subscribe to our channel for many more videos like this one in the future. 
Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ty Mason.